us go to MongoDB community server. In that, just click on the first link. After that, you just sign in. I already uh, registered so for for people that are not registered, they have to first register and then you can get it. So I am just uh, logging in now. I have login. MongoDB can use Google for logging on. How to uh, use the cloud directly? So if you have an account in MongoDB Community Edition, you get a cloud uh, storage of, uh, supported by AWS. So, uh, whatever databases are there, are there in the AWS uh, server buckets. So now we will uh, have each uh, edit database has a name. So in uh, see, we'll see all the ways. So now I want to create a new data. Database, but I need to first with, uh, decide what is the uh, storage uh, mechanism. So now I here there is a given build a database. So currently I don't have any databases. So I am currently going to click this button build database. So now. I will fill up this uh, because I just want to uh, wait for learning. So M zero means so M O and M ten are two different uh, configuration options. But uh, uh, for M ten, I will have to uh, spend dollar zero point zero eight per hour. But for M0, I, it is free, so it is just for learning. And the RAM is shared and virtual CPU is also shared. And storage is 512 MB. So after that, the thing is that the provider we have to choose is selected AWS. And the region is in India. Uh, is Mumbai and uh, the cluster name is cluster underscore Gaura. So, okay, similar. so I will just type cluster Gaura. So, what, what I have really done is I have deployed my database in a free server by using provided by AWS in the region Mumbai. Mumbai region is uh, uh, it is served as ap slash south slash one and then we create so now this is created username is password password will be uh wait a second i will just note not in the notepad plus So I will just type this password and I will create a user. So uh, to uh, and so uh, the IP address access list is given here. So the IP address of my uh, server uh, server is two zero six point eight four point two two seven point six seven. So that is the uh, IP access uh, information. So now I will just open the database here from the left hand corner. So you can see that there, there are there is uh, the three nodes are the replica. So the repli uh, nodes are replicated three times and backups are in inactive currently. And now let me just uh, create a uh, table from that. So now I am databases. So now I am going to advance. In this advance, there is then uh, in this uh, we can have database access to so, uh, the MongoDB roles. 
so roles are uh, 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 are types of uh, uh, types of uh, uh, people having the syntax for creating a schema for an entity is as follows so suppose i have a document it has to start with open brace and end with curly brace after that you type the field name so field field name colon field value and comma capital comma the field name two colon field name two field value two here you can see it is field name field name is field name value one okay. so suppose I want to create my uh, report so the first will be is identifier identifier the type of identifier is uh, a hexadecimal number so a uh, 24 character hexadecimal number so 16 uh, 16 into 24 sorry into 24 will be the number of bits the type of id is object id with is object the type of so, uh, and underscore id is object id which is non sql type id so this was about the id and then i will just remove this after id then i will have my name colon and my name is then i have to type the uh, you can say in uh, okay, schema name. So this is I written it. Then after uh, sorry after this I forward the comma. So I'm now pressing comma. Then ne next will be marks. Marks will be hundred. And it will be percent. So percent will be hundred percent. So now I have in, uh, I have entered three uh, more columns other than the ID column. ID column is a twenty four uh, in uh, character hexadecimal number, and uh, the name is Laura. It is a string, so it is enclosed in uh, uh, curly, uh, inverted commas and comma then marks is 100 and comma percentage is again a string because it is it has uh, it's a uh, often does set so now this is a document or whatever I have written so now let's to see how to insert this document into a null report card uh, here so that is suppose my database name is Gaurav. I what I will do is I will type this on my report Gaurav dot report card. It will identify which uh, 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 it will identify which uh, person's report card is there. So Gaurav is the database name and it contains multiple tables. So one table is report card. So in that sense, this is a package name. So the form, I'm just showing the format. 
is uh, the first thing is the database name dot table name so in that the terminal and in that we want to terminal I will just open editor Mongo dot uh, t txt so inside that I will just open the um, add the commands so if you see there uh, if my data is name is Gaurav and my collection name is a report part report part then collection is like a table in the MySQL terminology but since but since this is no SQL database we will use the term collection for a entity that is so now I have suppose uh, I want to design a table that is a designer collection it will have documents like rows are represented in my scale now let me name my namespace so my namespace is Gaurav dot report part in that namespace I just save it in Mongo DB there are uh, two types uh, in, in, in Mongo DB there are two types of yeah, in Mongo DB there are two types of insert query the first one is insert one which inserts only the first row and the second one is insert many uh, yeah many so it will insert many uh, rows so now we will just uh, see how they work so what we will do is Gauda is the name of the database that should go first in that database the collection is a report card that is tab uh, tabular so is report card and then in that I will just insert one this command is very important. Insert one. Insert one. I will just uh, type the uh, document. So this document I have created. So I will just copy. Uh, sorry. Just, uh, let me. Uh, there is no need to write ID. It will be automatically generated. It's not. It is system generated. So now I will copy. It and here I will just paste it. 
Monument. So then we will just uh, insert that Gaurav uh, uh, in, in the report card. Name is Gaurav, marks is 100, percentage is 100. So, comma separated. So now it, there are suppose many students. So, what will happen is instead of insert you have to insert many so in that I will write G U R E V. oh sorry the report card R is capital sorry so Gaurav dot report card and in that report card I will insert many and whatever to this this is a function so it has round brackets open in insert there will be an array and in each element of an array there will be an object and in each object there will be an ins insertion of data so now I so now this is Again, I'm just, I will just copy this. It will be faster. I'm just copying this and just pasting this. Suppose the new front is Nima, and in Nima, the marks are 90. The percentage will be also 90. So, this is the Syntax for inserting many rows in the uh, just remember this two syntax insert one, insert many. So now we will use the command line to start. password sorry on the DBS candidate okay, so now I went to go into the clusters guys in this you can see that there are uh, before seeing that, we will just uh, do some API. So, the, I have already created this database that is root dot. So, first step is I will just note down the step. The first step, so steps. So, first step is to go to Mongo HTTP as Mongo DB dot com. The next sorry www dot Mongo DB dot com. In that I will sign first register. After registering I will sign in. In the third I will create a user. You can create a user with a IP address listing using classless addressing and selecting the type and name of the cluster which you want to add either from the below three types of cloud servers which give platform as a service to middle sized organizations. So if you see 
इन अगेन को रिवाइज फर्स्ट यू गो टू एच टी बी एस कोलन डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट मोमो डी बी डॉट कॉम देन रजिस्टर साइन इन एंड देन क्रिएट अ यूजर सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज क्रिएट अ डेटा बेस आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग डेटा बेस क्रिएट अ कलेक्शन After creating a collection, click on Insert Document. If you want to add more than one document, you should click on uh, Insert Document. that many number of time so now if you want to edit it can be done through ui if you want to query the data base document and collections use the find command find takes argument find takes argument only one and that is the best condition in my sql so now let us see again what have we have studied we just went to mongodb.com remember the url https colon slash slash www.mongodb.com inside i registered this i paid i signed into this so i will create a user with an ip address and email i forgot to write email so list uh, and li- ip listing using classless addressing and selecting the type and name of the cluster so clusters uh, are very important because clusters contain the set of servers which are developed in, in which the parallel processing happens load balancing happens and um, backup recovery happens so multiple uh, cluster has normally a cluster in this uh, video will uh, ha- have a one primary server and two secondary servers so whenever a uh, data is given to the primary server it has a lock on, on that data so the secondary servers cannot access the data of the primary server but if the primary server uh, really removes the lock then it will uh, uh, a secondary server can request the data so uh, if, if it is eligible the lock and it gives it to the secondary server so mm-hmm. because there are two secondary server and one primary server the other advantage of two secondary servers is you can divide the power into multiple parts and then again join the result so that is cluster so that we uh, am as uh, amazon cloud services we are using so it works on cluster so in my example the database is database name is root and the collection name is goro so in this i am going to make a, a report card so if you can see here i will again revise the what you have studied just a minute to so see if uh, yeah where i was i forgot yeah my database name is root and my collection name is go so it is the cluster so suppose there are uh, many types of clusters but we will take the uh, cluster in which the cpu is shared and uh, the memory is also shared and the uh, memory limit is 512 mb so now uh, you can see here i have inserted some values so now we will again insert some values the, the first value is underscore id underscore id uh, has a function that the function name is object id so yeah. 
object id is a function name and inside the id will be there in uh, uh, inverted commas so id we, we are already discussed so no need to discuss again so you can see here id is there name is there mark percentage so this is a document so document corresponds to a row and underscore id is a primary key you can also notice that I'm, without giving id it is automatically generating this id so that is id is automatically generated so now we will again write a query as you can see we, i i shown you that you can insert using insert document so again i will go to yeah insert if if you add more click on insert document so i the fifth step here is i have created a database after creating a cluster after creating a cluster and i will create a database inside the database i have created a collection using ui and then again using ui i will click on insert document so that collection that report card collection has many students so for each student there is one document and each student has a unique id which is automatically system generated so now if you want to add uh, documents to ui this is i will just go to um, yeah now insert this see this uh, button this is insert button so insert button i will just uh, add, click on this as you see add field so add after this id field so i will type name i will type your name then it will mean then i will type again uh, add a column after name so uh, that column will be age no sorry marks Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is marks. Marks are hundred, but it is not a string. So I want see this right hand column. It is showing the operator basically or uh, a type of operand. So it is uh, integer sixty four bit. Marks are integer sixty four bit. After that, marks I will type percent. Percent I will type it as hundred percent. So it is also a string. So I will insert this. It is showing yeah. So now I there will be a document with Mina. Yes, Mina. So name is Mina. Marks are hundred. Percent is hundred percent. And object ID is given. It is randomly generated. So now I will um, you can say search. So uh, the search. Uh, suppose I want all the users with the name. So this is the I want to apply. So you can see there are two uh, 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 two documents with the name Gaurav. So I am getting two results. But suppose instead of Gaurav, I will return Nima. So now see what happens. It will return only one result because the one user is Nima. Now suppose I want to query based on two parts. So I will just press comma. Name name is equal to Gaurav. Oh, wait a minute. Name is equal to Gaurav, and marks is equal to ninety. So I will apply. So there are no users. So Gaurav doesn't have marks ninety. But again, click on apply. Yeah, you can see this. Oh, marks are hundred. So one result has come. But if I, you you can see it is comma separated and it is like a JSON. So now uh, we will move to estimate. Okay, so now I went to go into the clusters. Guys, in this you can see that there are uh, before seeing that we will just uh, do some API. So the I have already created this database that is root dot. So first step is I will just move down the step. The first step. So steps. So first step is to go to Mongo HTTP S 
mongodb.com the next sorry www. mongodb.com in that i will sign first register after registering i will sign in in the third i will create a user you can create a user with a ip address listing using classless addressing and selecting the type and name of the cluster which you want to add either from the below three types of cloud servers which give platform as a service to middle size organizations so if you see we will again go revise it first we go to https colon www.mongodb.com then register in it sign in and then create a user so the next step is create a database after creating a database create a collection after creating a collection click on insert document if you want to add more than one document you should click on uh, insert document that many number of time and now if you want to edit it can be done through ui if you want to query the database document and collections use the find command find takes argument find takes argument only one and that is the best condition in my sql so now let us see again what have we studied we just went to mongodb.com remember the url https colon slash slash www.mongodb.com inside i registered this i created i signed into this so i will create a user with an ip address and email i forgot to write email so list uh, and li ip listing using classless addressing and selecting the type and name of the cluster so clusters uh, are very important because clusters contain the set of servers which are developed in, in which the parallel processing happens load balancing happens and um, backup recovery happens so multiple uh, cluster has normally a cluster in this uh, video will uh, ha have a one primary server and two secondary servers so whenever uh, data is given to the primary server it has a lock on, on the data so the secondary servers cannot access the data of the primary server but if the primary server uh, removes the log then it will uh, uh, secondary server can request the data so uh, if, if it is eligible the log and it gives it to the secondary server so therefore there are two secondary servers and one primary server the other advantage of two secondary servers is you can divide the work into multiple parts and then again join the result 
so that is cluster so that we, uh, uh, amazon cloud services we are using so it works on cluster so in my example the database is database name is root and the collection name is gaurav so in this i am going to make a, a report card so if you can see here i will again revise the module study just a minute so see if uh, yeah where i was i forgot Yeah, my database name is root and my collection name is gaurav so it is the cluster so suppose there are uh, many types of clusters but we will take the uh, cluster in which the cpu is shared and uh, the memory is also shared and the uh, memory limit is 512 mb so now uh, you can see here i have inserted some values so now we will again insert some values the uh, first value is underscore id so underscore id uh, has a function that the function name is object id so object id is a function name and inside the id will be there in uh, uh, inverted commas so id we we are already discussed so no need to discuss again so you can see here id is there name is that mark percentage so this is a document so document corresponds to a row and underscore id is a primary key you can also notice that i am without giving id it is automatically generating this id so that is id is automatically generated so now we will again write a query as you can see we, i i shown you that you can insert using insert document so again i will go to yeah insert if if you add more, click on insert document so i the fifth step here is i have created a database after creating a cluster after creating a cluster and i will create a database inside the database i have created a collection using ui and then again using ui i will click on insert document so that collection that report card collection has many students so for each student there is one document and each student has a unique id which is automatically system generated So now, if you want to add uh, documents to UI, this is. I will just go to um, yeah. Now insert this. See this uh, button. This is insert button. So insert button. I will just uh, add, click on this. As you see, add field. So add after this ID field. So I will type name. I will type your name. Then it will be Mina. Then I will type again. Uh, add a column after name. So uh, that column will be age. No, sorry, marks. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is marks. Marks are hundred, but it is not a string. So I want see this right hand column. It is showing the operator basically or uh, the type of operand. So it is uh, integer sixty four bit. Marks are integer sixty four bit. After that, marks. I will type percent. Percent. I will type it as hundred percent. So it is also a string. So I will insert this. It is showing. Yeah. So now I, there will be a document with Mina. Yes, Mina. So name is Mina. Marks are hundred. Percent is hundred percent. And object ID is given. It is randomly generated. So now I will. Um, you can say search. So I. Uh, The search. Uh, suppose I want all the users with the name. 